Hi Internet, Oryx speaking, welcome back to the channel. I have been working on a super special project over the last couple months, and I'm excited to finally announce that it is ready for public release. Now for some of you guys who may remember, a couple months ago, I made a few videos about rebalancing some of the vehicles inside of Mario Kart Wii. And you may have noticed that I kind of stopped uploading those. The reason for that is along with help from people like Atlas Omega and my younger brother Kuma, we have been developing a rebalance mod pack that you, yes you the viewer, can download right now. Inside of the video description, you'll find a Discord link to the Rebalance Stat Mod Lounge. The reason why we're doing it in a Discord format is so you could constantly get updates every time I do a new patch. That way, I don't have to keep replacing the link every time I make an update. Also, one of the many things that we have added is a competitive format, which is in the form of a lounge. A big problem that was missing with the Rebalance mod was I had a very difficult time getting people to play the mod and test it to balance it. With the addition of the Rebalance Lounge in a competitive format, I now get the information on what needs to be buffed, what needs to be nerfed, and how to balance the entire thing a lot better. Plus, competitive lounge is a lot of fun. So I just want to quickly run through all of the changes that has happened from the last time we've made a rebalance video, which was a couple months ago, because a lot has changed. Since this is the first official release of Mario Kart 6.5, aka stat mod, there is a lot of patch notes to cover. So let's quickly go through all the important stuff. That way when you download the mod, you know what you're doing. Now the keen eye among you may notice that the Wario bike stats have differed a little bit since the last update. That's because once we make the vehicle, we actually continue to modify it to make sure that it's balanced for competitive play. So for instance, the weight was actually decreased from like 18 or whatever it was before down to 16.5. But since this is the official update release, it just shows the weight going from its stock to 16.5. The main thing about the Warrior Bike is it's a little bit faster than it used to be. However, it struggles around corners with the North Mini Turbo, and it is a bit of a tank taking things like green shells, blue shells, due to its high acceleration and also great drift radius. The Shooting Star has been modified a little bit more. The Mini Turbo actually it was nerfed from 240 down to 200, and other than that, pretty much everything stayed the same about the Shooting Star. It's a very fun vehicle and it's very unique. Just keep in mind that the Shooting Star is terrible once it gets hit. You need to stand still, its acceleration is terrible, its handling is actually quite bad, you need to make sure that you stay consistent and keep up your momentum. The main idea for the Zip Zip was to be a hard counter to the Mach Bike, an outside drifting alternative if you will. It actually trades blows with the Mach Bike in a few different areas, so for instance, it has a lower speed than the Mach Bike by a little bit, but it has a slightly higher mini turbo. And to offset the disadvantage of an outside drifting bike, because it still is an outside drifting bike, the off-road stat has been buffed, making it so you could actually trap shortcuts which were previously considered untrappable. And just to make things a little bit easier, the Zip Zip also had a buff in the drift compartment, making it torn very, very sharp. So keep that in mind. You can't take traditional outside drifting lines with the Zip Zip. Next up, the Cheap Charger. Yes, the Cheap Charger was added to Mario Kart 6.5 as a meme vehicle. It is basically a really good, fast, but light cart that severely punishes you for messing up. It, it's, it's a meme vehicle. The Cheap Charger has a few unique characteristics. Like for instance, on Grumble Volcano, where every off-road is weak off-road, it actually does not slow down at all. However, because of its speed and turn nerf, if you touch the control stick without being in either a drift or a mini turbo, you will come to a complete stop. So it's a very high risk, medium reward style vehicle that apparently a lot of people really like. And its low weight is to balance out its small hitbox. Keep in mind, all these vehicles are still being playtested, so nothing will ever be set in stone. If something needs a buff, it will get a buff. If something needs a nerf, it will receive a nerf. Next up, the Standard Bike L. Now, I made a video about the Standard Bike L buff a long time ago. The main difference between that version and this version is it had a very minor weight nerf, as well as an incredibly strong speed buff. Other than that, not much has changed. Of course, we have the A86, the Torrental Wild Wing mod. Every stat has been slightly buffed to some degree. So it's basically the Wild Wing, just a little bit stronger. This might need a nerf in the future, depending on how many quarters we get. The problem right now is we don't have that many good quarters to test it. So we don't actually know how good it is in the hands of someone who could use it. That's the Wild Wing's biggest issue right now. Lastly, we have the Sprinter. The Sprinter is the most interesting vehicle that I have ever developed. You have to basically take everything that you've learned on how to play Mario Kart Wii and throw it right out the window. A few minor adjustments like the weight class has been changed from medium to large, the weight has been buffed slightly, acceleration has been buffed by quite a bit. The main thing about this vehicle is it does not charge mini turbos at all, so it's quite the opposite of the shooting star. It is very fast, it does not charge mini turbos, and has pretty much no handling. If you are going to play the sprinter, be sure to play automatic because the handling on the manual version of the wild wing has been killed. And what's interesting about the sprinter is when you turn the control stick too much, you will begin to understeer, which is what happens when you turn the tires too sharp 
and the momentum of the car keeps driving it forward. This is the only vehicle in the game that you actually have to slow down deliberately on a lot of turns. Its acceleration and its top speed will make up for the difference. However, this vehicle is pretty much a traditional Formula 1 car. The main objective for all of these vehicles is they have to be fun to play, unique, and balanced. And so far in this current state, I believe most of the vehicles actually fall under all of those categories. We already have cheap charger mains, wild wing mains, standard bike mains. It's really cool seeing everyone pick their own vehicles. And as we make more vehicles, hopefully you'll find something that you'll enjoy as well. Next up, let's talk about characters. This should go by pretty quick. In patch 2.0, all the heavyweights, with the exception of Rosalina and Funky Kong, have had a huge overhaul and a pretty big buff. You could take a look at all of these characters' changes and modifications inside of the patch notes themselves, but I want to talk about two characters specifically. Those two characters being King Boo and Waluigi. King Boo has had a ridiculous buff across the board. I believe that he is by far the second best character, trailing only behind Funky Kong right now, and in some ways actually outdoes Funky Kong with certain vehicle combinations. Like seriously, what did you expect? I'm the one who's making the mod. But the second and probably the more interesting character of the two was Waluigi. Now for some odd reason, when I tried to modify Waluigi's stats, it kept crashing the editor and it kept breaking every time I tried to make a change to Waluigi. And what this turned into is an absolute mess. Due to his intern speed and acceleration, he actually does not lose speed in turning in wheelies. That's his main gimmick. However, the downside of that is he cannot stop when he does a turn. You have to be driving straight in order for him to slow down. And this means that you could actually go really, really fast backwards. We originally thought about like fixing it, but then everyone thought it was funny to just leave him as he is. So Waluigi is by far the most broken heavyweight, not in a good way, not in a bad way, just broken heavyweight. And he is a lot of fun to play. I seriously recommend giving him a try. Now there have been a few gameplay changes as well. Green shells now fly much, much faster, making it harder for other people to avoid when you throw green shells at them, making sniping a lot more of a viable option. As well as bloopers have been modified to have a bigger blast radius on the screen. For those of you guys who are new to the game, this might be a little bit of a strong disadvantage. However, at the highest level of play, we notice that this big blooper actually prevents it so you can't see if someone has trapped right in front of you, making it really strong in tight corridors. Other additions like friend rooms are now locked at 150cc and each Grand Prix is seven races instead of four. As well as with the help of Atlas Omega, huge shout outs to him, we have a custom regional server which allows people with the mod to play with other people who also have the mod in the same worldwide environment. Lastly, we have added ranked mode. Yes, there is a ranked ladder for Mario Kart 6.5. Here are some things that you're going to need to know. Ranked play is done lounge style inside of the Rebalance Lounge Discord server where you get all of your updates for everything Mario Kart 6.5, aka stat mod related. And basically the system that we have is unlike other lounge servers, how this is done is more of a battle royale style of MMR system. So basically depending on your rank, you have to pay an entry fee. Then once you pay that entry fee, every race you could gain back tokens, which is the MMR system. Or if you win the entire thing, you could also gain tokens. You cannot lose tokens except for that initial entry fee. It's a really cool system that encourages people to play the game more, as well as especially in a Mario Kart Wii environment where it's not a 1v1 or one team against another team. It's a bunch of people playing against each other. A BO system works phenomenally well compared to a normal lounge system. And with that, those are all the major changes added to StatMod version 2.0. Oh wow, it's almost time for me to drop my next update and I <laughs> I still have a lot of work to get done. So I just want to quickly mention that Ranked is currently still in beta. The bot is actually being developed by my younger brother, so there is still a few bugs and hiccups that it needs to go through before it becomes fully automated. Keep that in mind. Also, for some of you guys, you may be wondering, am I going to be modifying the Flame Runner? I've answered this a million times. The Flame Runner is going to be the gold standard for what this game balance should be like. If you know if the Flame Runner, I would stop playing the game. That's how important it is that the Flame Runner stays where it is. All the other vehicles, however, they could get a buff, except the baby booster, because that's funny. Don't forget to do all the YouTube stuff on your way out. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I am going to get to work on the next update. I am really excited on how this mod is coming out. I hope that you guys continue along with the journey. I'll see you next time.